Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 35, and this is war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance that I cannot say their name. Was it Nos Somos uh, Venom? I probably did not say that quite right. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, see who they banned. Oh, they banned some big boys. Hercules, Spider-Man 2099, and Human Torch. Let's uh, go on in here, spectate, see what we got going on here. All right, so, yep, we got Man-Thing first. Uh, Mad Mad Mardigan is going to be taking him. Um, we, we, we talk it all out, and we have our plans now for him. Uh, I will bring White Magneto, put the uh, pre-fights on him, and Mad Mad... Uh, Mad Mardigan. I don't know why I want to say Mad Mad uh, something or other. Um, but for me, we've got Magneto here. That shouldn't be a problem for um, Claire. Uh, the middle, I, I usually ignore. Um, this mini is probably going to be um, my alliance mate. Uh Unless it's open quickly, but that'll probably be him. Okay, we've got Doom. Oh, wow. That shouldn't be a problem for Claire. We'll see. Uh, Doom, huh? And uh, Nova. Yeah, Claire. But, ooh, I do not like fighting Super Scroll. Uh, I have to think of a, a solution for Super Scroll. So, right now, Claire... Um, got to bring in white mags and for that third one, it's going to be a, a, an option for super scroll. Uh, what's the global mystic dispersion, huh? Right. The worst. All right. Yeah. I got to think of, um, a good solution for that because, uh, nebula won't be a good solution because he's shock immune. He's also incinerate immune. Um, oof. yeah, that one's gonna be a fight. I mean, Claire probably could do that fight, um, but I don't know if for sure I'd be able to do it and not uh, die. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh, we we're dealing with some beefy boys here that we're gonna have to deal with. So I'll have to think about who I'm gonna bring in for that super scroll. All right. Um, right now I'm going for, uh, five-star Valkyrie. So I want to jump back into that arena. So let's get to the fighting. All right, we're back and I'm going in with somebody new that I don't believe you've ever seen me go in here with. And that's Quake. Now there is no six-star Quake. There's only the five-star Quake, but I still brought her in here. And I'll talk more about why I brought her in here uh, a little bit later. All right. So... We've got the first fight. It's going to be against Magneto. Now, uh, Clairvoyant, she's not metal. Shouldn't have a problem dealing with Magneto. Although, since his update, they also changed the AI so that he not only goes unstoppable when he does a heavy attack, that was part of his upgrade, but the AI makes the most use of that by preferring to do one or two hit combos and then heavy attacks and that's really annoying because it thwarts the um re -parry. so he's annoying but not really that bad uh, as long as you're not fighting him with a metal champion all right so here we go not too difficult here uh it's really nice to be able to parry him i'll tell you that not being able to parry him, especially when you can't do the re-parry, really, really, really not something you want to do. All right, so we took him down without uh, any difficulty. Now, anytime we see Man-Thing, this is our plan. Uh, again, I still don't know who he's using against Man-Thing, but I bring in White Magneto for just that pre-fight that you see right there. Okay, that makes things so much easier uh, for my alliance mate. And boom, as you can see, Man-Thing is down. 
no deaths, one shot. All right, so we're rocking. Uh, if you looked over to the left, we haven't died uh, on that left side yet. All right, so I want to keep up that tradition. You know, look at that. The the no twenty four mini is down, and my alliance mates are just kicking butt. You know, no deaths, and I'm like, okay. Um, hope it's not gonna be me that gets the first death. Now, when I went into this fight, I'm like, you know what? Doom, his day is over. He's no longer the beast and boogeyman that he used to be. I'm not afraid of him. I know how to evade his specials. Not worried about him at all. Yes, he has high attack, but I'm not really bothered by him. And honestly, I probably would have brought in like Nick Fury to take care of him, but I had to bring in White Magneto for the man thing um, pre-fight. All right, so here we go. Just trying to bait that out. He doesn't want to. Really? Really? <laughs> Come on. Throw, 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 your, throw your special. Really? I think I said bait the heavy out, but bait the special out. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Finally, he throws his uh, special. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, sure. Now he wants to throw his specials often. It's really annoying. Now I need to kind of wait, and I got to get out of there because I have the shock on me. And here it is. I'm doing that special, too. I had to wait for his um, aura to go away. And I had to stay away from him while I had that shock debuff on me. All right, and here we go. All right, I just I cannot knock him down at this point. If I try to do it, I will not like the results. All right, so here we are again trying to bait it out. All right, he didn't take the time that he took the first time to um, throw his special. All right, and here we go. So now I've got another special two in the pocket, but I also have that shock debuff on me. That's why I'm staying away from him. And then that happens. I'm just like, are you kidding me? And then I just threw my special two because I was trying to throw the special two earlier and it didn't get thrown. I got beat up and then it threw the special. It's like, okay, I see. I see how y'all want to play. And so now you see me, I'm just doing very, very careful. And we finished the fight without dying. Cause I tell you, I was sitting there in that fight going, I am not going to be the first one to die on this left side. Not going to do it. It's not going to be me. And around that time, I was screaming out, no, it's going to be me. It's going to be me. But we did it. All right. So, so far, everything is going great, at least on the left-hand side. All right. Now, Nova, a lot of people don't like fighting Nova. Claire, I like fighting Nova. I have to fight Nova uh, every day in an alliance quest. So I've learned how to fight him. I can evade both his specials uh, without too much difficulty. The explosive personality on this node doesn't bother me. Uh, yes, he does have an auto block, but as you're going to see, it doesn't really phase me at all. Okay, so we parried him. I nullified. We're in good shape here. Okay, we're just getting him down. You know, uh, if he throws the special one, fine. If he doesn't want to throw the special one, that's fine too. The special two is one that used to catch me a lot, but I learned in AQ to evade it. So this time I've got to bait this out. Look at him. And finally he throws it. I thought I was going to eat a special three right there. I really did. I was like, is he going to just hold and not throw his special and then hit me get to a special three and then fire it instantly. All right, but it's all good. Like I said, I can evade his special two. Um, I learned painfully in AQ to evade his special two, so I don't mind either one. I just blocked that first one, it doesn't matter. Could have blocked the second one as well, but there's something satisfying about evading his special two since it used to kill me all the time. Um, but down he goes, no problems here. Now. I mentioned Quake coming in here. This is the fight that I was most concerned about. I went to different uh, groups. I was like, okay, Super Scroll is on this node. Who should I take Super Scroll with? You know, I'm really concerned. We got Mystic Dispersion, Global. They've banned certain champs. I'm like, who do I use? And 
folks were giving me different options. Quake was an option. You know, I could do the parry style. But as you can see here, I told them, I'm going to wait till you guys take down that boss because I'm not dealing with that mystic dispersion with everything else. But then I was told, Claire does an awesome job. Just boost up and tear him up. And I'm like, hmm, without the mystic dispersion global to deal with, okay, let's try that. Now, I brought Quake in case I needed a backup. So I boosted up here, and they told me to put on a Mystic Dispers uh, mystic Power Boost. Uh, I don't run Mystic Dispersion. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to put on the Mystic Power Boost. Let's see how this goes. We just, we're just going to boost up, you know, some good damage. And one of the things I love to use on this node is the Advanced Power Boost. That way I can avoid the node itself and I know I'm going to get to at least a special two. But also remember that Claire has her own power gain. When they're immune to things that she tries to put on them. All right, so watch this fight. All right, so here we go. Everything's looking good so far. We've already taken a little bit of a chunk out of his health. We're at a special two. Bam. Hit that special two in Curse of Hellfire. Look at his health. I'm just like, wow. And look at my power. Look at the power. I'm already back at a special two. And the fight's over. Who was worried about that fight? Not me. Anyway, so anytime I see Super Scroll on there, it's going to look like that. Um, if I can help it, that is. And uh, I do wait. Unless the fight is, you know, pretty straightforward, I do like to wait. Uh, why make the fight harder than it needs to be? So if they can clear and they don't need me to take down that node, let them clear the boss. I don't have to deal with the global. All right, we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. It was a close war. It was really a hard war uh, to lose because we actually see that we have a chance to get into Platinum 3. Now, at the beginning of the season, we weren't really pushing for Platinum 3. But things happened. We got rid of some people, brought in some heavy hitters who were used to Platinum 1 wars, and they just wanted, you know, a break. And we've been doing quite well. But this ended a winning streak. Now, we don't have that many wars left. And we may still be able to get Platinum 3. If we don't, it's not that big of a deal. Let's look and see um, just how close. We just died a few too many times. Okay? That's how close this war was. And whether we get Platinum 3 uh, for the first time, you know, it's more of a status thing. Honestly, the only thing that it would give me is uh, 5,000 more six-star shards. Um, at this point in time, it's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice to get Platinum 3. Uh, all right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, what you thought about the war. Um, we, we did well, just not well enough. All right. So take care. And you all have a blessed day.